question. Can Glock pistols be addictive? These things are like sunflower seeds. I was addicted to sunflower seeds for over a year. I had to start smoking to get off the sunflower seeds. You start out with one, next thing you know you got five or six. I've had dozens of them over the years. Just about every 9, 45, and 40 that they make at one time or another. This particular time, all I have left is these five. All these have been safety checked before the video. The uh, one that I carried the most, the one that I've had the longest of this particular bunch, is the Gen 4. Glock 26. I've carried this for probably the last two, two and a half years. Pretty much every day I've added the True Glow Tritium Night Sights, the Talon Grips, of course, the Vickers Tactical Extended mag release I prefer the Gen 4 over the Gen 3 just for the larger mag release the Talon grips I have on every one you see and I will have on every one I purchase in the future this Glock 26 holds 10 plus 1 it's small, it's compact, it shoots well, it shoots bigger than it is, if that makes any sense. These Glock pistols are no nonsense, no external safety, no magazine disconnect, none of that stuff to get you in trouble in a stressful situation. The newest one I have is the Glock 43 single stack 9 millimeter. If the 26 is the baby Glock, the 43 I guess would be the premature baby. Overall size, side to side, there's not a lot of difference, but the 43 is considerably thinner than the 26 only holds six plus one rounds whereas the 26 holds 10 plus one and another good thing about the 26 is if you have a 17 which I do you can also use the 17 mag and the 26. If you have a 19, which is the compact, you can use those mags as well. That's really nice. I have a Glock 30S 45 ACP 10 plus 1 rounds. Also has the True Glow night sights. I've carried this gun a few times. It's a little heavy when you get 11 rounds of 45, but it's it's manageable. The first few hundred rounds I shot out of this were my reloads, and it was pounding my hand pretty hard. After 40 or 50 rounds, it felt like I took a sledgehammer and pounded right to center of my palm but I adjusted the powder on my reloads and took it back about four or five grains lighter and it made it much more shootable more like factory ammo I guess I was loading it a little hot for this lightweight slide and my sissified hand but it's a nice shooting gun and I really like it this 21 I keep by my bed 
it has a black hawk light which I am have so so feelings about I don't think it's the greatest light in the world I got a good deal on it I put it on here it seems to work decent this is a Gen 3 SF Glock 21 this would be my favorite of all my Glocks it's still wearing the factory sights which I don't have a problem with other than them being plastic I would probably put the True Glow Tritium sights on this one as well at some point I carried this gun one time 14 rounds of 45 and a Glock 21 it's a lot heavier than it would seem like it would be I'd almost needed some Kevlar suspenders maybe a stainless steel belt I had it in a white hat holster inside the waistband I couldn't take it much more than a day Glock 17 Gen 3 this is the oldest one that I have I bought this one in a pawn shop used I've put several hundred rounds to it I've done a lot of trigger work on it, have the trigger right at three pounds. I shoot this one better than any of the other ones on this table. And that's because of that light trigger. 17, I guess, is the original Glock. I like it. It holds 17 plus one. So you got 18 rounds of 40 of 9 millimeter, excuse me. It's not a compact package by any means, but it's really fun to shoot, and I shoot it more than I do the rest of them. As far as 45s go, the 21 is the smoothest shooting 45 I've ever had. I've had all types of 1911s and I like them but as far as smoothness recoil management I really like the 21 better than any 45 that I've ever owned so there you have it I have five Glock pistols here six months from now there will probably be some different ones on this table the three that will stay are the 21, the 17, and the 26. The jury is still out on this 43, and the 30S will probably get sold or traded for something different. The next one I will be acquiring will probably be the 41, which is the essentially a 21 with the longer slide and the slimmer slide that would be the next one I would want but the only ones of these that I will carry will be the 26 and hopefully the 43 will earn its way into the rotation but these pistols can be addictive I guess as any hobby you start out small, the next thing you know, you're writing a book about it. I'm going to write a book, but it's only going to have one chapter, chapter 11, because that's what I'm going to be filing if I don't quit buying all these guns. But thanks for watching.